Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge, and welcome to week six of School Lunch Inspiration. Okay friends, confession time. Now out of all the videos I make on this channel, the school lunch videos are definitely becoming my favorite, and I have a lot of fun ideas to share with you today. But before I get started, make sure if you haven't already to hit that red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you like school lunch videos. Now let's get started. Good morning guys and happy Monday. Right now I have Jackson and Mackenzie here helping me say hi. Hi. And what do we have on Mondays? We have PB and J day. That's right, it's PB and J day. I can't believe it's Monday again. I feel like it was just Monday. But that's right, it's PB and J day today. But today I used something a little bit different to take the crust off of our sandwich. I used this little sandwich maker from Japan. I added a little bit of peanut butter to the center and then a little bit of jam also to the center. And then using my sandwich maker, I just pressed it to remove the crust. And I do save the crust, you guys. I don't like to waste them. Now I actually found this at Daiso and while I was there, I picked up one extra to give away to one of you guys. So if you'd like to enter to win this cool little sandwich maker, you can go ahead and click on the link down below. Now with the PB&J today, I'm also sending some edamame pods and some berries. Now to go along with that, I'm also sending a little cheese kebab. Now this is actually some pre-cubed cheese. I just bought this from the store and stuck it on the little pick. Is that fun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty easy, no big deal. Now I'm also sending a strawberry gogurt. This is the simple gogurt. And I love these gogurts because they always have a joke on them. That's right. Did you guys know that? These always have a joke on the back. So today says, "What did the strawberry say when she heard her favorite song on the radio?" That's my jam. That's right, that's my jam. Have you heard that one before? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, and then I have the little cracker containers, but I actually don't have goldfish in here today. I'm sending the cheddar rockets, which are very much like goldfish crackers, except these ones have no artificial flavors or preservatives. So I actually think that they taste better than goldfish crackers, and they're not quite as salty. And I get these from Trader Joe's. Do you guys like these? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's all for today. I'm gonna go ahead and package this up and then we'll head out the door. Okay guys, we're back home now and Mackenzie, what time is it? It's 3.14. 3.14. So we have Mackenzie's lunch and here's Jackson's and here's Lily's. So first off, I can tell that, it, let's see, everybody ate all of their crackers. Did you like those crackers? Yeah, they're yeah. Like, they're, that's my favorite part. Yeah, let's see. And it looks like you ate everything else. Good job. I did. Very good. And let's see how Jackson did. He ate everything except for maybe one or two little edamame things. And then Lily, oh, not too bad. She ate about half of her sandwich, but she only had half of the sandwich, so not too bad for her. Okay guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning friends and happy Tuesday. Now we are running super late today so I'm gonna to try to get through this quickly. Today I am packing a little deconstructed sandwich. We have a lot of Hawaiian rolls left over from a birthday party. So I went ahead and just cut them in half like this. And then I'm sending the meat and the cheese separate so the kids can actually build them um, when they're ready to eat them. Now over here I'm sending one little apple cinnamon fig bar. I'm also sending a big thing of blueberries some peaches and cream yogurt from Trader Joe's. This is super good. And of course we have our juice today. This is a nut-free day, but I am including some Halloween pretzels. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of my lids on, get my ice pack in there, and then we'll be headed out the door. Oh yes, the kids also will be taking their water bottles today. Okay guys, so we're back home now and it's almost 4.30. Now today is actually Halloween, so trick or treating is gonna start in a couple of hours. But right now I actually have all the kids with me say hi. Hi. So let's see what they ate today. First I have Mackenzie's. How did it go Mackenzie? It was good. It was good. So you ate all of your sandwich. Very nice. And your fig bar and all of your blueberries are gone. You ate everything, even the pretzels? Yep. Good job. And now for Jackson's. How did yours go today, Jack? Good, I ate all the blueberries. You ate all of your food. Oh, you just have some pretzels left. <laughs> but you ate all of your blueberries? 
Awesome, okay, now it's time for Lily's. How'd you do, Lily? Did you eat your sandwich? <gasps> you ate your sandwich, but you just have a little bit of a fig bar left. Do you want to eat it right now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And you have some pretzels left yeah. and your blueberries. What was wrong with your blueberries? They were a little sour. They were sour? You got, oh. you got all the sour ones for me. All the sour ones are for you? Does anybody else want to eat these? No. You'll eat those? Okay guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon guys and happy Wednesday. Now we are eating lunch at home today just as normal and I have something really fun that the kids definitely like and it's this yakisoba, which is like a Japanese style noodle. And I actually get these at Costco and they're frozen. So all I have to do is stick them in a bowl and then put them in the microwave for about three minutes. So we have some noodles in there, there's a yummy sauce and some vegetables. We have peppers, carrots, broccoli, peas, all kinds of good stuff. Now I am giving the kids their chopsticks today so they can give that a try. Now to go along with this, I have some cheese, which seems pretty random, I know, but we had some sliced cheese left over from Lily's birthday, so I wanted to use it up. And this is actually Gouda. Now I am serving a treat today. We have these little fruit snacks, and these are also left over from Halloween. We actually gave these out as trick-or-treat candy this year, and so we have a few left over. And then I have some orange smiles. Love orange smiles, and these are really tasty uh, navel oranges. And then I have a salad, a nice big salad. We have some carrots in there. With and some, my favorite croutons. Yeah, these are uh, Texas toast butter and garlic croutons. They are super good. And I just get these at Winco, but you can probably find them at most grocery stores. So. All I have to do now is put the salad dressing on and then these guys can dig in. So I have two choices today. I have the deep roasted sesame or I have my homemade ranch. What would you like me to do? Homemade ranch. Homemade ranch. Everybody wants ranch? Yep. All right, let's put some ranch on there. Now, did you guys know that you can eat salad with chopsticks? No. Yeah, when I, when I lived in Japan, that's how we ate salad. We ate it with chopsticks. So give it a try. Okay. If you don't like it, we can use forks. All right, so there you go, Mackenzie. Thanks. There's Jackson's. Don't drop it. And here's Lily's. Okay, here's what we're left with. What do you think, Lily? Good. Did you really like the noodles? Yeah. Were they good, Kenzie? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The gummies. The gummies? I see you ate all your vegetables, so that's really good. Except for Lily. You didn't eat all your salad. Because I do have like fruit. Okay, but she did ask me for more oranges. So do you see how many oranges she ate? You really liked those oranges, didn't you? Yeah, so overall, pretty good today. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday. Now today, I have a super fun lunch. I know the kids are going to love it. Now starting off, I'm sending some five cheese tortelloni in pesto sauce, and I'm putting that in the thermos to keep it nice and hot. This five cheese tortelloni, I actually get at Costco, and it's really good, one of the kids' favorites. And the great thing about the tortellini is that it cooks so quickly. Just about three minutes is all it takes. So that's the main dish for today. But to go along with that, I'm also sending some blackberries. I got a big thing of blackberries on sale recently, so here's the last of them, trying to use them up. And then these guys, look at these gigantic carrot chips. Now this is actually just a fresh carrot, and it happens to be a ginormous carrot. I saw it in the store and I said that would make perfect wavy carrot chips. So I just used my crinkle cutter to make this really fun shape. Now because these carrots are so big, I'm actually sending my little ranch in this little container today because normally I have a little tiny container and I don't think this would really fit for dipping in the tiny container. So we have our ranch here and then this guy, this is definitely one of my favorites. This is actually a date roll. Let me show you the package. Now I actually get these at a store called Sprouts, which is similar to a Whole Foods, but these are the pumpkin pie spiced date rolls, and they're actually rolled in pecans as well. These are so good. They're actually just dates, pecans, pumpkin pie spice, and then you know cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and allspice. So not a lot of ingredients, but they taste like dessert. They are super yummy. So I have one of those in there. Now hopefully the kids won't waste those because they're my favorite and I would hate to see them get wasted and they're not super cheap either. And then lastly, I am sending a snack today that I know the kids are going to love and this is the Lifeway Organic Whole Milk Kefir. So this is a lot like a yogurt tube. Um, it's a little bit thinner, it's more like a milk drink 
and this is in the goo berry pie flavor. So yes, lots of healthy probiotics in there. This is definitely a treat though. It's a little bit more expensive than your regular um, Go-Gurt would be, but I know the kids are going to love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my lids on here and then we will head out. And of course, when we get back, I will show you what they ate. Okay, we're back home now. And let's see how they did. Mackenzie's over here to help me say hi. Hi. So here's Mackenzie's lunch. Let's see what she ate. Oh, that's empty, good job. Did you eat all your tortellini? You did, was it still warm? Yeah, it was. Good. Let's see, you have a little bit of ranch left and you ate, did you have your kefir? Yep. Was it good or was it sour? It was a little bit sour. A little bit sour, so next time maybe I'll get a different flavor from the kefir. Okay, let's see how Jackson did. Jackson, oh, he left a carrot. You ate all your carrots though, that's good. Yeah. And let's see how he did here. Oh, he ate all of his tortellini. I kind of thought that he would. We really like tortellini. Yeah, that was the, was that the best part, the tortellini? Yeah. Okay, let's check Lily's. Oh, she has two little blackberries. Maybe she'll eat those later. But she ate all of her carrots, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can see <laughs> she ate all of her ranch. So that's how I get her to eat carrots, lots of ranch. Let's see. And she also ate all of her tortellini. And I can see that all of the keepers are gone too. So good job today. Hi guys, and welcome to Friday. Now today I'm packing my kids' favorite. We have hot dogs. But I have a trick to packing hot dogs in lunches. Here's how I do it. First, I take my thermoses and I like to fill them halfway with some boiling hot water. And then I put the lids on to keep all of that heat inside. Then I just add my hot dogs to some water and wait for it to boil. When the water is boiling, the hot dogs are ready to pack. But here's a tip, you guys. Now normally I would dump out the hot water that I added to my thermoses and then add my food, but I'm not doing that today. I'm keeping the hot water in the thermos and then I'm adding my hot dogs to that hot water. And that hot water is gonna help keep the hot dogs nice and warm. Just like my hot dogs, I am gonna cut my hot dog buns in half. They just fit much better that way. And I like to put them in this sandwich container. I find these at Target in the dollar spot all the time. And of course, I'm packing some condiments. I have these little containers from the Dollar Tree. They are leak proof and BPA free. So I'm just gonna add a little squirt of ketchup to each of them. And then for my daughter, Lily, I'm gonna add some mustard because she's the only one who likes mustard. Now I definitely wanna remember to pack our spoon, knife, fork combo today because the kids definitely need it. They're gonna use the fork end to get the hot dog out of the thermos and onto the bun. And then they're gonna use the knife end, which is really dull, not sharp at all, to go ahead and spread their condiments all over the bun. Now to go along with our hot dog, I did put a little teeny box of raisins in there. It just fits perfectly, it's so tiny. And I also am sending some juice. This is the Berry Berry Good Lemonade. And in this corner, I have some applesauce. But this is actually um, applesauce with apricot in there, so it's a little bit different. I hope the kids enjoy it. And for the snack today, I am sending these little, they say that they're breakfast biscuits, but they're basically like an oatmeal cookie that's really crisp. And I know the kids are gonna like these because they're blueberry and most importantly, because they have PJ Masks on them and my kids love that show. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up and then when we get back home, of course, I'll show you what they ate. Okay guys, we're back home now. And usually the kids like to help me during this point, but as you can probably hear, they are playing outside. I think they're playing Simon Says. So I'll go ahead and show you what they ate and then I will clean it all up. First up I have Mackenzie's. Now I did ask the kids to dump their water out when they were done with their hot dogs and so Mackenzie did, she ate all of her hot dogs. And whoa, everything else is totally gone. So she did a really good job today. We just have a tiny bit of ketchup left and that is it. And let's see, Jackson, he ate all of his hot dogs and dumped out his water and he ate everything in here too. Just a little bit of ketchup left. So next time, less ketchup. And then Lily, she dumped out her water, but I know she didn't eat all of her food. She left, let's see. She left one half of her bread, so she did eat the hot dog, but she didn't eat the bread. And then in this little nub here, we have a tiny bit of hot dog left. Oh, and it looks like 
She only ate one out of the three biscuits because each of these come with uh, three. So she only ate two of those. So overall, not too bad. They definitely enjoyed the hot dogs. Okay friends, for even more school lunch inspiration, you can click on the link right up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can hit my face right down there. And don't forget to join me next week because I have a very special school lunch collaboration in the works where two other YouTube moms and I are gonna share Thanksgiving themed lunches. So don't miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.